Have you ever found yourself gazing up at the night sky, wondering about the signs and wonders that God has placed there? Today, we find ourselves in the midst of a whirlwind of prophetic events that are unfolding before our very eyes. Just as the wise men of old followed the star to find the newborn king, so too are we called to be watchers of the times, seeking to understand the mysteries of God's divine plan. Today, I want to take you on a journey through five remarkable things that are happening or already happened in the month of April 2024. And even beyond, we will explore the profound biblical significance of each of these things and examine the powerful message that they carry that we cannot afford to ignore. But more than this, being just a mere spiritual and intellectual journey, I believe that God is speaking to us through these signs, calling us to a deeper relationship with Him. There is an urgency, a divine call, pressing upon our hearts to share the gospel with the world. And so, as we embark on this exploration together, I want to invite you to open your hearts and minds to the leading of the Holy Spirit, who will guide us into all truth. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. As we stand ready to receive these revelations, let's reflect on the words of Ephesians 1 verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. This passage assures us that in our quest for understanding, as we delve into the signs and times, God is willing to grant us a spirit of wisdom and revelation, deepening our knowledge of His will and purpose. And I believe that as we align ourselves with God's prophetic timeline and seek His face with all our hearts, we will experience a move of God like never before. So, as we explore the Word of God, let us seek to understand five incredible things that are happening in our world today and what they mean for us as followers of Jesus Christ. Number one, the solar eclipse of April 8, 2024. My friends, on April 8, 2024, a breathtaking solar eclipse will paint the skies reminding us of the awesome power and sovereignty of our Creator. Joel prophesied in Joel 2 verse 31, saying, The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. This solar eclipse is a profound spiritual sign, reminding us of the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, as the sun's light is temporarily darkened, so too the spiritual darkness of this world will be pierced by the glorious appearing of the Son of God. We must fix our eyes on the eastern sky, eagerly awaiting Christ's return. The solar eclipse reminds us of the urgency to share the gospel with those still in darkness, as Jesus exhorted in John 9 verse 4. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. Let this eclipse ignite a renewed passion within us to be bold witnesses for Christ. Just as the sun stood still for Joshua, prolonging the day of battle in Joshua 10 verses 12 to 14, may this solar eclipse be a heavenly sign that God is fighting for us giving us victory over darkness, and extending the day of His grace. As we marvel at the eclipse, let us examine our hearts and allow the Holy Spirit to expose and remove anything that hinders our walk with Christ. May we emerge with a renewed commitment to pursue holiness, righteousness, and unwavering devotion to our Lord. My dear friends, 
the solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024, is a clarion call from heaven to awaken our spirits, rekindle our first love for Jesus, and align our lives with God's prophetic plan. May we be found faithful and ready when he appears in glory. Number 2. The Red Heifer Prophecy My dear friends, as we approach the Passover in April 2024, there is growing anticipation among believers regarding the potential fulfillment of the Red Heifer Prophecy. Reports have emerged of a perfect Red Heifer being identified in Israel meeting the biblical standards outlined in Numbers 19 verses 1 to 10. This discovery has ignited speculation that we could witness the red heifer sacrifice on Passover 2024, a significant step towards rebuilding the third temple in Jerusalem. Understand that the red heifer holds a crucial role in Jewish tradition. Its ashes was used for the ceremonial cleansing of those who had come into contact with the dead. This purification ritual was essential for maintaining spiritual purity and allowing the people of Israel to approach God's presence in the temple. Ezekiel 43 verses 18 to 27 describes a future time when the temple altar will be purified with the ashes of a red heifer setting the stage for the return of the Divine Presence and the establishment of the Messiah's reign. As we witness the convergence of prophetic signs and speculation surrounding the Red Heifer, it is hard not to feel a sense of sacred anticipation. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 4 tells us, But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. The fact that these discussions are taking place indicates that events are aligning with God's divine plan. However, as believers, we must approach these speculations with a balance of excitement and discernment. While it may be thrilling to consider the possibility of prophetic fulfillment in our lifetime, we must remember that the ultimate reality of the Red Heifer prophecy is found in Jesus Christ himself. Hebrews 9 verses 13 to 14 states, For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Our primary focus should always be on proclaiming the good news of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and living lives that reflect His love and grace. As we see the signs of His return multiplying, let us heed the words of 1 Peter 4 verse 7, which tells us, But the end of all things is at hand, Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. The speculation surrounding the potential red heifer sacrifice on the 2024 Passover serves as a powerful reminder to live with urgency and readiness for the Lord's return. Just as the ancient Israelites were required to maintain ceremonial purity, we too must strive for holiness and allow the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit to prepare us for the coming of our Bridegroom, Jesus Christ. My friends, as we ponder the significance of the Red Heifer prophecy and the speculations surrounding it, let us approach these matters with reverence, discernment, and a deep hunger for God's presence. May we be like the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do as we see in 1 Chronicles 12, verse 32. And may we, above all else, fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, as we eagerly await his glorious appearing. Number 3. Disease X and Pandemic Concerns 
My friends, as we navigate the uncertainties of our world in April 2024 and beyond, the looming threat of disease X, a yet unknown pathogen with the potential to cause a severe global pandemic, weighs heavily on many hearts and minds. In the wake of the most recent global health crisis, the threat of another devastating outbreak has left many feeling anxious and unsettled. The Bible speaks of pestilences and plagues as signs of the end times, reminding us that we live in a fallen world subject to the consequences of sin, as we're reminded in Luke 21, verse 11. As we witness the increasing frequency and intensity of disease outbreaks, it is natural to wonder if these events are indeed harbingers of the Lord's return. Reports of mysterious respiratory illnesses spreading globally have been emerging from time to time, leading to widespread concern and speculation. As believers, we must approach these challenges with faith, wisdom, and compassion. While it is tempting to give in to fear, we are called to be light in the darkness and trust in God's sovereignty. My friends, even when the world around us seems gripped by fear and uncertainty, God is still at work, drawing people to Himself and revealing His love and grace. We are called to be agents of healing and hope in a hurting world, demonstrating the love of Christ through prayer, practical assistance, and sharing the gospel message. As we grapple with the uncertainties surrounding disease X, let us remember the ultimate healing that awaits us in the time to come, according to Revelation 22, verse 2. In the meantime, let us approach the challenges of our day with wisdom, discernment, and unwavering faith. May we be diligent in prayer, asking for God's protection, guidance, and intervention. And may we fix our eyes on the promise of Jeremiah 29, verse 11, trusting in God's plan to give us hope and a future. Also, as we navigate the concerns surrounding disease, X, let us cling to the unshakable hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Number four, earthquake in divers places. My dear friends, as we find ourselves in April 2024, our attention is drawn to the increasing frequency and intensity of earthquakes occurring around the globe. Recently, all within the first week of April, Taiwan was shaken by its most powerful earthquake in 25 years, while the U.S. East Coast and the Mariana Islands also experienced significant tremors. And it's important to note that these earthquakes occurred just days before the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8. These seismic events remind us of Jesus' words in Matthew 24, verse 7, which tells us, for nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. As we witness the earth groaning with greater intensity, we know that we should remain vigilant and steadfast in our faith, interpreting these events not as causes for fear, but as reminders to prepare our hearts and strengthen our relationship with God, aligning ourselves with His divine purpose and calling. The Bible is clear in Romans 8 verses 22 to 23 that in the last days the earth will experience increased geological instability as part of creation's longing for redemption. As believers, we must see these events as reminders to keep our hearts and minds fixed on eternal realities. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3 reminds us that, though the earth may tremble, we have an unshakable foundation in Christ Jesus, our solid rock. Furthermore, these earthquakes serve as a powerful reminder of the urgency of the gospel message. As the ground shifts beneath humanity's feet, 
we must diligently proclaim salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. The shaking of our world can be used by God to awaken hearts to their need for a savior. In the face of these seismic events, we are called to be people of prayer, intercession, and compassion. As we navigate these end times that are earthquake-prone, let us fix our eyes on the unshakable kingdom of God, finding comfort in the words of Hebrews 12, verses 27 to 28. May our faith stand firm, our hope remain steadfast, and our love for God and others grow ever deeper, knowing that our foundation is secure in Christ alone. And number five, wars, rumors of wars, and the threat of World War III. My dear friends, as we find ourselves in the midst of a turbulent world in April 2024, it is impossible to ignore the escalating tensions and conflicts that threaten to engulf the globe in the flames of war. From regional disputes to geopolitical power struggles, the drumbeats of war seem to grow louder with each passing day. As believers, we cannot help but recall the words of Jesus in Matthew 24, verse 6, where he says, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The Bible speaks of wars and rumors of wars as a sign of the end times, indicating that these events will increase in frequency and intensity as we approach the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Luke 21, verses 9 to 10, Jesus warns, But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. As we survey the global landscape, we can't help but recognize the prophetic significance of the conflicts unfolding before our eyes. In recent months, the world has witnessed a series of alarming developments that have brought us closer to the brink of a potential World War III. From the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict in the Middle East to the protracted Russia-Ukraine war in Eastern Europe, nations are flexing their military might and adopting increasingly confrontational stances. The language of world leaders has grown more heated and the risk of miscalculation or escalation looms large on the global stage. As followers of Christ, we must not allow ourselves to be consumed by fear or despair in the face of these troubling events. Instead, we must cling to the hope and peace that surpasses all understanding, rooted in our faith in the sovereign God who holds the nations in his hand. In Psalm 46 verse 9, we are reminded, He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Also, we must recognize that the wars and rumors of wars we see unfolding around us are ultimately part of the birth pangs that Jesus spoke of, signaling the approach of his glorious return. In Matthew 24, verse 8, Jesus declares, All these are the beginning of sorrows. Just as a woman's labor pains increase in frequency and intensity before the birth of her child, so too the signs of the end times, including wars and conflicts, will increase before the return of our Lord. In the face of these global tensions, we are called to be agents of peace, reconciliation, and hope. As the Apostle Paul writes in Romans 12, verse 18, If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. May we be known as peacemakers in a world torn apart by strife, pointing others to the Prince of Peace who alone can bring true and lasting shalom.
Furthermore, let us be fervent in prayer, interceding for the nations and their leaders, that God would grant them wisdom, restraint, and a desire for peace. In 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 2, Paul urges us, Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. As the threat of World War III looms on the horizon, may we, as the people of God, be faithful in prayer, repentance, and seeking the face of our Heavenly Father, knowing that He alone can bring healing and restoration to our broken and divided world. My friends, as we navigate the perilous waters of wars and rumors of wars in 2024, let us keep our eyes fixed on the eternal kingdom that cannot be shaken. May we find comfort in the words of Jesus in John 16, verse 33 where he says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. As the nations rage and the kingdoms tremble, may we stand firm in our faith, anchored in the unshakable promises of God, and may we shine as beacons of hope and peace in a world desperate for the light of Christ. My dear friends, as we have explored these five remarkable things happening in April 2024 and beyond, let us not be overwhelmed by fear or anxiety. Instead, may these signs of the time serve as a clarion call to draw near to God, to fix our eyes on Jesus and to live each day with a sense of urgency and purpose. Let us be faithful in prayer, fervent in our witness, and unwavering in our hope, knowing that our redemption draws near. As we navigate these challenging times, may we cling to the promise that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart filled with awe and reverence. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Almighty God who spoke the heavens and the earth into existence. Your name is above every name, and your power knows no bounds. I praise you for your infinite wisdom, your unfailing love, and your sovereign control over all things. You alone are worthy of all honor, glory, and praise. Lord, I thank you for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. I am grateful for your endless grace, mercy, and compassion that sustain me each day. Thank you for your daily provisions and benefits. Merciful Lord, I confess my sins before you, acknowledging my shortcomings and my need for your forgiveness. I repent of my sins and ask that you cleanse me from all unrighteousness. As I have been forgiven, I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all bitterness, anger, and resentment. Father, as I consider the signs of the times unfolding before us, I pray for strength, wisdom, and unwavering faith. Let your word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path and anchor my heart in your unchanging truth. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no plague shall come near my dwelling, for you are my refuge and my fortress. When the earth quakes and the mountains crumble, I will not fear, 
for you are my rock and my salvation. As wars rage and nations rise against nations, I trust in your divine protection and your master plan for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of fear, anxiety, and despair that seeks to overwhelm me in these troubled times. I bind the forces of darkness that would try to steal my peace, kill my joy, and destroy my faith. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. I claim victory over every attack of the enemy, knowing that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Lord, I pray for your divine healing to flow through every aspect of my life. Heal me from physical sickness and disease, emotional wounds, and spiritual oppression. Protect me from any illness or infirmity that may try to afflict my body. Lord, strengthen my immune system, renew my vitality, and grant me divine health, that I may serve you with all my strength and vigor. Renew my mind and refresh my spirit. I pray for your protection to surround me like a shield, guarding me from all harm and danger. Lead me away from temptation and deliver me from all evil. Extend your hand of blessing over my loved ones, covering them with your favor and grace. May your angels encamp around us, delivering us from every snare and trap of the enemy. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come into agreement as we lift up our voices in unity, believing that our lives are secure in your capable hands. We declare that no matter what challenges we face in these last days, we will emerge victorious through the power of your Holy Spirit. We claim your promises of provision, protection, and peace that surpasses all understanding. We give thanks for your steadfast love and faithfulness that endure forever. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would guide us into all truth, revealing the mysteries of your word and the secrets of your heart. Lord, we lift up the nations and their leaders before your throne of grace, asking that you would grant them a double portion of wisdom a spirit of restraint and a deep longing for peace in these turbulent times. May we be found faithful and ready, with our lamps trimmed and burning when the bridegroom returns. Let us not grow weary in doing good, but help us to persevere until the end, knowing that our labor is not in vain in you. Let your kingdom come on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace, 
with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.